So just a quick video. I uh, thought this might be interesting to somebody who's working on something like this. Uh, you can see on my bench here is my HP uh, 3325B uh, synthesizer uh, function generator. And the reason it's on my bench taking apart is because when I got it out, uh, or rather turned it on this morning to do some testing, uh, it was throwing a fail code. Um, the fail code was a fail 39, which uh, I'm not going to go into details. Uh, the man, I think the um, the service manual says something about a fractional in counter error, something or other. Uh, anyway. Um, so, uh, when I got the unit, originally it had to fail 39, and the original problem with this, uh, unit was, uh, let's see if I can get in here. This, uh, resistor, of course, I could tell when I took the unit apart that it had been taken apart already. Someone had tried to go in here and fix it. But, uh, long story short, this, uh, this resistor right here in the plus 15 volt power supply section had failed or I assume it had failed it had been replaced but uh, when they replaced it they replaced it with a 45 ohm resistor instead of a 0.47 ohm resistor um, so what was happening is this is the uh, current sense resistor for the current limiting on the 15 volt power supply so 45 ohms would obviously put that uh, current limiting, limiting function at a much lower current value so essentially the 15 volt rail was getting shut down on um, excessive current uh, when the unit was turned on so, uh, and it was throwing the uh, the fail code all right so i replaced the uh the resistor with a this is a 0.51 ohm resistor which is the closest one i had on hand and uh it's it seems to work just fine and so i repaired it uh that was a few years ago and it's been sitting there in my uh in my rack uh, right here and uh, not not really giving me too much trouble but uh, this morning I went to turn it on to do some testing and uh, got the fail 39 uh, error code again so took the uh, power supply board out um, well took some measurements first uh, at first I thought maybe that the uh, pass transistor for the plus 15 volt supply had uh, had uh, shorted because I was getting a uh, I was getting a, a 22 volts on the uh, on the output of the uh, on the output of the of the plus 15 volt rail. And I took the transistor out, uh, put it on my uh, makeshift uh, curve tracer, uh, and uh, it, it it passed, looked normal. I put it on. I did the diode test. Everything checked out normal on it. So it wasn't the pass transistor. So I. Uh, Got to looking around some more, and uh, I've got the schematic up here on my computer right now. But uh, what it ended up being, this is a schematic of the power supply for the unit, was this uh, Q401 right here, which uh, uh, which is part of the 15 volt regulator circuit. And uh, what happened was, is this uh, collector, and there's a short from base to collector here on this transistor, and well, that was causing the uh, 15 volt rail not to work um, so I took it out and uh, it's a uh, this little transistor here it was a uh, it was a PN uh, what is that it's a PN four nine one seven which uh, cross reference to a 2N3906 uh, which I had plenty of those on hand and uh, put that one back in down uh, right, uh, like that's it right there. Q four hundred one right there. So the board out. Uh, I think taking the board out with all the connections and the screw terminals was, took longer than it took to actually uh, desolder and replace the transistor. But uh, that was it. And um, now I got my unit back up and working. And. Uh, We'll go ahead and power cycle it here, and no fail codes, so that's great. And uh, got it hooked up to the um, oscilloscope here, so we'll go ahead and put a one volt, uh, one kilohertz signal, 
And there it is, our one volt, uh, one kilohertz signal. And we'll function, cycle through all the functions. That was the other problem too, of course, when that plus 15 volt rail was uh, not working every time you try to change function, it would throw up other error codes, fail 10s, fail 24s, which I haven't looked into, but I assume there's some sort of um, calibration errors, because every time you change the function on this scope, uh, you know, it goes through a uh, goes through a short calibration routine. And, and also, with the with the fail 39, it wasn't producing an output signal at all, so now it seems to be working. So that's just a uh, little bit, a little tidbit for anybody that happens to have one of these, uh, one of these old uh, 3325 uh, Bs, you know, if you're getting those fail 39s, uh, I'd, I'd start looking at the 15 volt rail. Uh, that's where I'd start looking, because that's, uh, that's what it was for me. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks.